a cyst on your ovary that bleeds into itself that may be a surgical emergency or not. What is it? It's a hemorrhagic cyst. Do you even know what it is? You probably have one because one in five do. Hi, I am your local OBGYN. I love women. And if you want more useful information on your women's health and to see my cute puppy, you want to follow here to learn all of the stuff and the crap that you never learned before. So the deal is that when you ovulate every month, your mature egg starts in like a bubble, a cyst, and then the mature egg comes out and that's the ovulation. And some people are very sensitive to it. And then kind of what happens is that little area where the ovulation happened, that little bubble kind of reforms and it forms something called a corpus luteum. And it's kind of this little hormonally active cyst that's waiting to see, boom, did you get pregnant or not? And most cycles don't end in pregnancy. But the problem is when that little corpus luteal cyst, which is very normal and part of your every single month kind of situation, forms, sometimes it bleeds into itself. Did you hear that? He hears that. He doesn't have that. He's a boy. So if it bleeds into itself, then it's a hemorrhagic cyst. And that can be uncomfortable. Why? It can be uncomfortable because when you bleed into it, it kind of makes this tense bubble or this tense blood-filled balloon. And that can give you pain. Now, pain, we can monitor, we can control as long as your blood count doesn't drop, but that little bubble with lots of blood on the inside can pop and then you're just actively bleeding and it can fill up your whole tummy and be a surgical emergency. So what are we supposed to do when we see a hemorrhagic cyst? If your blood count's stable and your pain can be controlled, nothing. We watch it, we control your pain. If your blood count's not stable or you're bleeding into your tummy, surgical emergency. If you keep getting them, we worry about a bleeding disorder, maybe that was undiagnosed, and some women just kind of get them. Now, they can be suppressed, and that means reducing the number of times that it occurs by being on something hormonal to kind of suppress that process of ovulation. That can be a big game changer for some people. They get these all the time.